Hi, in this video what I'm gonna show you is how you can extract data from invoices that come to a Gmail into your Google Sheets using Zapier and Bitscout. Um, so first of all, if you have an account in Bitscout, we have a templates, which is uh, ready-made plugins that you can use. And here we have invoices with line items, you can press details and see what we can extract. But most importantly, you can also test it here. So in order for you to use it, you can click on sample scenarios and depending whether you use Zapier or Make, you can choose this scenario. As you can see, there is no yet no Gmail to Google Sheets, so we're just going to click a first scenario just to get us into Zapier. And here we have our scenario already uh, created from scratch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just update it and we'll use Gmail. And the event that we need to, to use is new attachment because you need emails with attachments uh, and if you receive receipts as a HTML you need a different trigger. Uh, but let's uh, for simplicity use email with attachment and I'll use my account, continue, then we have that is correct and then I will add one just one thing because it will otherwise it will go through my whole account. Uh, I have specifically created an um, email for testing. That's how it looks like. And I added here into subject. You don't have to do that. You can analyze all the um, emails. And I, if you have a special mailbox for your invoices that I recommend you do, so you need to set it up in, in here in account, here, this special mailbox. But okay, we are done. Mm, let's continue. And to test the trigger, I will send this email. Okay, so now it's gone. The reason why we need to test the trigger is to see that everything works correctly. So let's test it. Okay, so here it is. Here is the email. Okay. And next thing, like we don't need this step, we just delete it. Then the next step, we run a plugin from uh, BitScout. Because you clicked on the scenario, the plugin was created automatically, so we don't have to do that. Let's see, invoices. Here it is. Let's continue. Let's test it. Okay, so here is our data. All right. Now, the next thing is that we need to do is we need to create a Google Sheet or if you already have it, and let's say here, file name, invoice ID, vendor, total currency. Okay, so here I have my invoices. That's it. We have our Google Sheet. So let's continue. We don't need Asana. Here, or if you want, you can use Asana. Let's use Google Sheets. Choose an event. We need to create a spreadsheet row. So in this case, each invoice will be a row in your spreadsheet. Press OK. Again, your account uh, where you have created the Google Sheet. And then we'll take my Google Drive. And here it is. It's already here. And the worksheet is the first sheet. And these are our fields. So file name typically we take from here. And the ID we take from Bitscout. Okay, where is that? Okay, receipt ID. That's the one. Vendor is also coming from Bitscout. Total is coming again from here, from the fields we have recognized. Here it is, and the currency also outputs CC currency. Okay, so here we are. All right, let's test it. So, this is our data. And that's it. You don't need anything else. You don't need other two other steps. That's it. Just switch it on, and it will work. And if you have any questions, just uh, drop us a message in the chat and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.